the JAMA Network. I'm Alex Haynes. I'm an assistant professor of surgery at the Harvard Medical School and the Massachusetts General Hospital, as well as the associate program director for safe surgery at Ariadne Labs. My interest in this topic stemmed out of a body of work that I have been engaged in with a group of collaborators here at Ariadne Labs, as well as collaborators at Stanford and other parts of the world, looking at the rates of surgery around the world as well as the role of surgical care in strong healthcare systems and population health. As we began looking at surgical data around the world, it became clear to us as well as to many others that cesarean section comprises a substantial proportion of the surgery performed in all environments and that in some parts of the world, particularly in lo low and middle income countries, can comprise as much as 30 or 40 percent of the surgery performed. When we came to that realization, we thought it would make sense to look at the kinds of health outcomes that are directly linked with cesarean section, um, such as maternal mortality and neonatal mortality. The WHO had previously recommended a target rate for cesarean section of 10 to 15 percent on a population level. We wanted to see if that rate resulted in optimum outcomes or not. We gathered information on cesarean section rates for all WHO member nations. We were able to identify cesarean section rate data for all but 22 of those countries. And we used uh, imputation techniques to uh, estimate the remainder. We then obtained maternal and neonatal mortality information from uh, international agencies, the same data that's used for policy decisions as well as for uh, targets like the Millennium Development Goals and uh, correlated that with the cesarean section rates. There is a relationship between cesarean section and maternal mortality ratio, uh, as well as, as neonatal mortality rate, that persists even when adjusting for other uh, demographic and health indicators. That relationship had multiple change points, and uh, particularly as it pertains to maternal mortality, we found that increasing cesarean section rates on a national level up to a level of 19 percent was associated with lower maternal mortality ratios. Above 19 percent, there was no correlation between increasing cesarean section rates and improved health outcomes. A similar relationship was found when you looked at neonatal mortality rate. There's a couple of conclusions that can be made. All must be taken with the caveat that these data are population level data and that they also don't examine the causal relationship. That being said, it appears that on a population level that cesarean section rates up to 19 percent are associated with improved outcomes and that there are many countries around the world that do not provide cesarean sections up to that level and are, where women are, do not have access to safe and timely cesarean section. On the converse, it also suggests that there are countries around the world where there are more cesarean sections being provided than are likely to result in improved neonatal and maternal outcomes. There are a variety of steps that need to be taken beyond here. One is to look at what these data mean on a more granular level. Nothing here tells us what should happen to an individual woman in labor about whether or not she should have a cesarean section. A lot more work needs to be done around understanding the indications for cesarean section better. Our colleague Neil Shaw, one of the co-authors here, is engaged in a body of work here in the United States to try and understand that a little better and why, why cesarean section rates happen. It's also important to better understand the context in which surgical services are provided. Cesarean section is one of three bellwether procedures identified by the Lancet Commission on Global Surgery in their recent report on the state of surgery around the world. And understanding the role of strong healthcare systems in providing surgical services, including cesarean section, is important to ensuring appropriate, safe, timely access to high quality healthcare around the world.